ATLP120X USB is a professional direct drive turntable equipped with a USB output for sending a digital signal to our Mac or PC computer. It includes a lightweight head shell with pre-installed and aligned ATVM95E cartridge. The turntable's built-in phono preamp allows it to be used with a wide range of amplifiers and receivers. Before the turntable can be used, it needs to be set up. Carefully unpack the turntable and verify that you have all of the parts and accessories. Position the turntable chassis on a sturdy surface. Carefully place the platter on the spindle and make certain it is fully seated. Place the felt mat on the platter. Next, assemble the tone arm. Remove the twist tie and temporarily secure the tone arm to its rest with the locking clamp. Attach the head shell with pre-installed ATVM95E cartridge by inserting it into the tone arm socket. While holding the head shell in position, rotate the head shell locking ring counterclockwise. As the ring rotates, it pulls the head shell into its seated position. Tighten carefully. Install the counterweight, making certain the black stylus force gauge dial is oriented toward the front. As you rotate the counterweight, it will thread onto the tone arm. Now we will balance the tone arm, set the tracking force, and adjust the anti-skate for the ATVM95E cartridge. This important process allows the cartridge to track properly, and failure to do so can cause the stylus to wear prematurely and possibly damage your records. First, set the anti-skate adjustment knob to zero. Carefully remove the stylus protective cover by sliding it straight forward off the front of the cartridge, exposing the stylus. While gently holding the head shell to stabilize the tone arm, carefully release the locking clamp. At this point, the tone arm is unbalanced and can easily swing. Be careful not to let the stylus drag across the platter. While gently holding the head shell, rotate the counterweight until the tone arm is horizontally balanced. It should hover freely, just above the platter, and not touch the platter surface. Once the tone arm is balanced, without touching the counterweight, carefully move the tone arm to its rest and secure it using the locking clamp. Now set the stylus tracking force. Every cartridge has a recommended tracking force. Setting the tracking force too light can cause the stylus to skip out of the groove on loud or dynamic passages. Setting it too heavy can cause excessive wear on both the stylus and records, resulting in audio distortion or channel imbalance. For the ATVM95E cartridge, the recommended tracking force is 2 grams. Locate the black stylus force gauge dial on the front of the counterweight. Marked with numbers and lines indicating different tracking forces, the dial can rotate independently of the counterweight. Without turning the counterweight, carefully rotate the stylus force gauge dial until the zero on the dial lines up with the center line marked on the top of the tone arm. Now set the tracking force by rotating the entire counterweight assembly in a counterclockwise direction. As you rotate the counterweight, note that the gauge dial rotates with it. Continue turning the counterweight until the 2 value on the gauge dial lines up with the center line mark on the tone arm. You now have set the recommended tracking force for the ATVM95E cartridge. If you ever change out the cartridge and head shell, rebalance the tone arm and set the tracking force to the value required by the new cartridge. The AT120X USB has an anti-skate force adjustment. This small outward force can be applied to the tone arm to compensate for the natural skating force that pulls the tone arm toward the center of the record. For best performance during normal turntable operation, set the anti-skate adjustment knob to the same value as the cartridge tracking force. The turntable includes a stylus cueing light. It illuminates the record surface to assist in finding the groove in a low light situation. If needed, plug the cue light into the receptacle on the chassis and aim it as desired. For best performance, the turntable should be level. Using a small bubble level, adjust the turntable's feet as needed to make certain it is level. With the turntable assembled and leveled, the power and audio connections can be made. First, connect the AC power adapter cable to the turntable and plug the adapter into a convenient AC outlet. The AT120X USB provides a traditional phono output along with a built-in magnetic phono preamp providing an RIAA equalized line level output. This makes it compatible with traditional phono inputs on amplifiers and receivers, 
along with AUGs or line level inputs on powered speakers, amplifiers, and other audio equipment. If your audio device has its own RIAA magnetic phono preamp, simply set the phono line selector switch to phono, bypassing the turntable's internal preamp. If you are connecting to an AUGS type line level input or powered speakers, place the selector switch in the line position to use the turntable's internal phono preamp. If your audio device has a separate ground terminal, connect the spade log on the dual RCA cable to the grounding lug on your audio component and the grounding lug on the turntable to help minimize hum. The turntable is also equipped with a USB output, allowing it to connect digitally to Mac and PC computers without the need of special drivers. Compatible with a wide range of third-party recording software, the USB connection allows you to record from the turntable to the computer. Simply connect the USB cable from the turntable to an open USB port on the computer. The turntable's dust cover is designed to protect the turntable when not in use and should remain off when records are playing. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.